Thank you again. It would always seem like it would be smarter, in my opinion, to send the invites before starting the feed. No, I did already, but it's just it, I was mostly reminded because Molly forgets. You know. so. <clears throat> All right, and we're live. I should probably close that a little bit, a little, a little less light. Oh, Adisa's there. Hi, Adisa. But here we are. This is the sixteenth one of these we've done. So, so we just—it's been fun. But anyway, for all of you that don't—it's been fun. This is the last one. That's <laughs> goodbye. No. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Smell you later. No. Um. <laughs> but yeah. Uh. Uh, let, okay, for those who don't know what this is, most of you by we now don't even do. Know what this is. No, actually, we don't. We don't know what the fuck this is, but we've done it 16 times already, and we'll do it as far as it'll get us. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't go that far, but whatever. <laughs> well, we'll do we'll do it while it stays fun. How about that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Goodbye, folks. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I said we'd do it as long as it was fun. Well, we're fun for who, might I ask? <laughs> you, you were saying last last few ones you've actually been having fun. No, though. I didn't. No. Nah. Sorry. It's <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, for those of you who are not familiar with this, this is the Mr. Black and Dr. Bitchcraft show. Uh, I am, as you know, obviously, from finding this on my profile, obviously. I'm Mr. Black. And over here is the most of the time disembodied voice who you rarely see, but you know who they is. The the Doctor Bitchcraft over here. What if they don't know who I is? Well they gonna learn. Oh. They gonna learn today. Poor them. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Yeah, they're doing this like a day later. I originally thought I had to work last night. Uh, but it turns out I was only working in the daytime, so I was like, and then rather than switch it around the show back in, I'm just like, I oh, will just keep it Monday. It'll be a lot easier. Because I got these are my two days off, so yay. So yeah, how's everybody out there doing? Uh, let's see, this has been an interesting week. It has, of some sort. Uh, I tend to tune some, tune most shit out. So, if I'm forgetting something, huh. can <laughs> can you inform me of what has made this week interesting? So many things. Because well, not really I don't leave so the house, so <laughs> my week has been pretty fucking uneventful. <sighs> but uh. Yeah, work has been work, yeah. It's been interesting. Boy, it sure is a job. Hey, boy, it's <laughs> sure a job. Wow, it's sure employment. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, anyway. um, Let's see. See, this is why I need to make notes, because I've had a whole bunch of stuff that, that I wanted to mention that I've noticed this week and everything. Well, you didn't make notes, so... Let's here see. We are. I know. But, uh, let's see. Oh, the whole... The whole, uh... The core trial thing was weird, because I was like... I said caught bits and pieces of them in the, uh... In the break room at work. And I guess, like... I saw the one that had... I, the one that had, like, fucking... When they were interviewing Sean Spicer... Was was that Spicer? Who who, who, who? who am I thinking of? I don't know. Maybe it was a Spicer. It was one. It was one of the guys, but I know they had him sweating. I sound like a moron right now. I was like, oh, that guy. 
one of those Trump guys. <laughs> Does it really matter? You know, really. Because when it comes down to it, it is. Yeah, it's one of those Trump guys. Does it really matter who the fuck it is? You just hope they all just get kicked out. That's all you can do. <laughs> But yeah, aside from that, um, things have been just kind of just, I don't know, like I said, just mostly just working, uh, yeah, um, see, this is, like I said, this is why I need to make notes. Oh yeah, oh, okay, here's one I, I'm going to bring up here, here we go, now I remember. Hi, Molly. Molly's back. Oh, here. See, you caught us. See, I told you I'd remind you. <laughs> but, um... So, there was a thing this week, right? Um... Apparently, like, you know, like, you know, as you know, like, last, last weekend was the whole Pride celebration, and this is Pride Month, basically, so... Um... So... Lately... There, somebody unveiled their version of the rainbow flag, but they added the black and brown bars to it, representing, you know, the people of color in the community. Which, you know, makes sense to me. It's, I mean, it makes sense because, you know, I, I love my community, but sometimes it's not very, you know, you know, I am, we are part of that community, but sometimes it is not. Y'all ain't inclusive enough. How about <laughs> basically. that? Basically. That's basically what I was getting to. And you know, and and some decided to make that, and that's and that's all well and good. It's like okay, yeah, I, I see what you're doing. Cool, you know. You know, there's a lot of versions of the rainbow flag representing it. And this one's, I guess, to represent pretty much, I guess, just about everyone. You know. You know, especially since the pe the pe the main people who started the whole movement and everything were trans women of color. Okay. Nothing like a post like that, and there was there was there was like one uh, page that posted it, and I, once again, you know, when you read posts like that, if you don't want to have a bad day, it's better to avoid the, the comment, comment section, because the comment section is like fucking cancer. I go there, and I look at the comment section. I'm just curious. As I was stupidly wanting want to do, and shit, I mean nothing like that to bring out fucking racists even in the LGBTQ community. I mean, you know it's there. I mean, it, it's like there there is racism within the community. Don't get me wrong. I was gonna say like no, there I, is, <laughs> but oh, like, you know, <laughs> it's not like it's new. It's not this new. But, oh my god, it was like, no fucks given blatant. And it's like, these were like, probably some of the people from the community who voted for Trump. You know, the gays for Trump thing. Remember those guys? This is probably some of those fucking people. I try to forget. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of us try to forget. We do. But, oh my god, some of the fucking comments. I'm like, really? Really? You know, it's... That's why I don't read that shit. Yeah, I shouldn't have. And someone's like, oh my god, you're playing the race card again, the red blah blah. I was like, oh my god. See, that's the thing, that is a very easy thing for white people to say, because literally there is nothing tied to whiteness in regards to oppression. Yeah. No white person has ever been denied any of their basic human rights because they're white. I'm not saying they haven't been denied those rights because they're either gay or a woman or uh, possibly, like, cat in regards to class, you know, because classism is totally a thing. But, um, yeah, white people seem to think that just because they have it hard, they have it the exact same level of difficultness <laughs> as people of color, mm -hmm. or more specifically, queer people of color. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that you will always find the pretty gay white twink getting hired before a queer woman of color, or just a woman of color in general, whether she's queer or not. So... You know, white gays really don't have a whole lot of shit to say, and they but, need to pipe the phone. Well, here's 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 my thing, though. I mean, here's my thing. I mean, uh, okay, okay. If you are a queer person, 
You know, even if you're white, you have faced some fucking bullshit. Sometimes you, you face some serious bullshit. You like all face fucking violence too. Okay, don't get, I? I understand that, but with all that, of all people to understand shit with people of color and the whole shit that comes along with racism, y'all should understand this. So to come out with that, because so so when you know people are talking about wanted things to be inclusive like it's supposed to be and you come out with that oh you're playing the race card blah, blah, why is everything gotta be race bullshit you know what come on that is fucking stupid what the fuck are you doing fam come on see okay number one don't use fam oh yeah <laughs> number two all right yeah, no i was just trying to emphasize doesn't work no keep in okay. mind this is a conversation that we've tried to have with multiple white people not just like white queer people just white people in general about why i mean okay we brought him up last time in our last show fucking ammo and natasha yeah they are supposedly huge supporters and activists as well as members of the queer community both claiming to be trans mm. yet they are both Racist as white, fuck. A white man and a white woman, racist as a motherfucker. I'm sorry, I you know I don't. In my in my opinion, I don't really give too much credit to the whole like if you're queer, whether you're a person of color or not, you've been through some shit. Because honestly, there are a lot of queer people who don't get shit. They're white queer people and they're perfectly fine. Ammo and Natasha are an example of white queer people that want to be victimized. They want to make like, oh, I got a, I got fired from my job. Oh, it's because I'm a trans man. No, honey. It's because your wife is a registered sex offender and you have her around your children. And they also look at your records, seeing that you commit welfare and food stamp fraud. Yeah. So, like, I'm just saying... People like Ammo and Natasha, I'm sorry. No, you don't get to be like, I'm just as oppressed as queer people of color, because they fucking aren't. Yeah. And I, you know, I, me personally at this, maybe I'm just in a bad mood today, <laughs> or maybe dealing with the shit I dealt with. Like, honestly, I don't know anybody personally who's dealt with the shit I dealt with being a queer teenager out in Indiana. Like, literally every other queer person I know has never, has never been threatened by, again, this is as far as I know, because most of the people I know are straight. Surprisingly enough, most of the people <laughs> I know are straight. Um, I've never, there's not been a single gay female friend of mine who has been threatened with correctional rape by a group of rap rowdy ass loud corn fed boys <laughs> in high school um I don't recall any of the women I knew be having the shit beat out of them by said guys because you happen to be talking to one of their girlfriends it's like I, I'm sorry it's just I honestly don't know that many people who've been treated like that and in, in regards to the, the yeah. queer people I know yeah. however the flip side of that is the majority of the queer people I do know, much like me, are out and about a little bit later in life. Like, yeah, I didn't make my dating preferences a secret, but I damn sure wasn't telling anybody I was genderqueer or under the trans umbrella back then. Right. Mainly because I didn't, you know, 15. Right. I didn't know shit about shit then. Other than, I thought girls were really pretty. <laughs> and boys were smelly, but they were alright too. <laughs> By the way, let me let me know if you guys can hear us okay. Once I always ask that, I always have to make sure. I don't know if I have the phone, the phone position weird. And like I said, you guys might have to forgive me because I'm not like I'm not sleeping great, so my thought patterns are a little all over the place. So if I'm not yeah. making sense, well, that's why. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, they've been, the dogs have been having a lot of lot, lot of problems with sleeping lately and. And well, a <laughs> lot, life. but even even more so, past, like of the past few weeks, though. Yeah. Sometimes, maybe what an hour of sleep, maybe a night, maybe. Um. Yeah, that sounds about right. So yeah, we're it's, it's like we have a very tired, grumpy doctor at the moment. But um, I'm sorry. Like, even my partner, who my other partner, who's also 
about as queer as they come. Uh, and not just queer as in their, who they're attracted to, but queer as in who they are. Um, even they have admitted, like, being a white queer, you are afforded privileges that other, other people aren't. And I don't know what I... I feel like if my... If my white... Up, my other partner, who's white as white can be, can grasp this concept... Like, of course my other partner faces other things because, number one, they are disabled. And they are... They're not, like, super masculine, but they dress masculine, you know? Like, their voice isn't as deep as mine. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, but, like, no, shit! Oh, <laughs> no, okay. You, okay. Uh, <laughs> I thought you knocked something else over. I was like, oh no! I was like, no! My man! Oh no! Oh no! It's gonna smell funky in here! Oh god. Our water is the worst. But no, I'm... And like I said, I'm not trying to diminish anybody's struggles. Like, if a white queer person has had some shit happen to them, like, yeah, I'm very sorry. But... That's only something they have to worry about as a queer person. Hmm. They don't have to worry about being a queer person on top of being a person of color. Because that's like a double fucking whammy. Like, people of color are already treated like shit. Hmm. Queer people are already treated like shit, generally speaking. Put the two of them together, they're going to be doubly treated like <laughs> shit. So it's like, oh, excuse me, we didn't put a white stripe in the fucking rainbow flag for your bitch ass. Where literally every other gay festival, gay pride event, fucking... Gay bars are full of white fucking twinks and your stereotypical white butch lesbians with a mullet. At least out here, they most certainly are. I have and, not been to a gay bar out here yet. And honestly, any oh, no. of like the brief times we lived in LA, or the brief times we lived in LA, um, when we lived in LA, the brief times where we've been driving around where pride things were visible. Even in L.A., the majority of the Pride things I saw taking place were 95% white muscle bears in tiny jock straps. Like, not only is the queer community pretty fucking racist, but it's also very, this is what a gay man is, or this is what a gay woman is. And that removes a huge chunk of of the queer community when we're only focusing on the pretty white people portion of the community. Like, not everybody can have an Anderson Cooper gay. <laughs> you know, like, that's not the epitome of what a gay man is. And, like, I'm just saying, like, white gay people, white queer people in general, they have it a little fucking easier and they need to quit whining. In a long, roundabout way, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you guys don't have it that fucking hard. I got backtrack on comments now. I'm long-winded. Why do you ask for my opinion? <laughs> you know this. Oh, that's Go kind of... Do a fucking bong hit, bitch. Calm down. Oh. oh, anyway. Oh, by the way, say hi, Zach. Zach. Say hi, Zach. Yeah. Oh, hi, Zach. Hi, Zach. That poor child just sat there and watched me go, fuck white people. <laughs> Molly says, next time someone's playing, says you're is, is saying you're playing the race card, tells them they're playing the KKK card. I mean. <laughs> Teresa, Teresa Romano's on. She says, hi. Hi, Teresa. Chloe Rodriguez is on. I don't know. Who and she says, so what's this show about? First time watching. <laughs> oh, well, well, I mean, if you're still watching at this point. Cause you said you sent sent that sent, sent that a couple a couple minutes ago while we were talking. We. Oui. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so while the doctor was talking, all right. Still, so, um, how do we how do I describe this show? It's a shit show. <laughs> we try to have talk. Mo you will mostly hear us talking about food, racism, sexism, transphobia. More food. More food. Um, Cajunly butts. Uh, mental illness, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, we mainly talk, and I know a lot of people are probably tired of hearing about these particular topics, but here's the thing. 
you have a group of people who are either staunchly against equal rights for people of color, queer people, etc. And then you have people that are fucking silent and cowardly. I personally have more of an issue with those people than the first group of people. So with shit like this, people might be tired of us talking about the same issues, but really, it's it's normalizing these discussions. Stop yeah. making it so taboo to discuss this shit, because these things are issues. They are problems. So part, part of the show is to bring some awareness, to educate some people. Uh, I, and then other times it's just me getting stoned, offering bullshit <laughs> commentary that doesn't really make So basically, I mean, a good portion of the show was us talking shit, basically. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah. I mean, in a nutshell, it's us talking shit. <laughs> Which is not that different from when we're not filming, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, basically. It's like our usual conversations, but we're including all of you, basically. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so, you know, we're talking shit with you, together. A shit-talking family, that's what we are. And I would like to stress right now for any new watchers, um, any, because I've, I've gotten some, a little bit of shit here and there, um, anytime you hear me say things like fuck white people or men are trash, uh, please understand that that's hyperbole. And if any of the things that I'm saying do not apply to you, then maybe don't get your panties in a twist. For example, if you're a dude watching this and you take offense to me calling out problematic shit that men do, maybe wonder why you're offended. <laughs> if I say, hey, white people have done X, Y, Z, for example, um, if they're still watching, they probably aren't. Uh, <laughs> for example, a while ago, we had a discussion about how I'm Native American and it's kind of pisses me off that y'all, white people spent years and years and years trying to erase my culture, and now you motherfuckers want a fucking spirit animal. <laughs> and now you want to wear my shit at music festivals because it's fashionable and trendy. So, again, if you know you're not a white person who's done some shit like that, then by all means, don't be offended. I just feel like I need to put that disclaimer out there. Because people legit think that I seriously... You just had to roll those on the bottom, like, disclaimer. I, like, people seriously think I hate white people. I'm like, no. I hate the system y'all benefit from, and I hate how people are too cowardly to go, you know what? you damn right. They will give me that job. Maybe I shouldn't wear dreadlocks where a black woman would be forced to cut her hair. You know? Shit like that. So, again, it's, it's a disclaimer. I don't want anybody thinking that I legit hate all men or that I legitimately hate white people. I don't. I just hate the systems that, you know, they benefit from that unfortunately... Like they, it's like they don't benefit from it without it oppressing somebody else. I feel like if there's a better system where we all can benefit from it, then that's great. But so far, few and far between are the... So, again, long-winded. Why do you ask me to be a part of any of this? Well, it's half-time. I think that's why some people watch. <laughs> no, they are so tired of my shit. <laughs> That's okay, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm still fucking full. Jesus. I would be too, fuck. Basically, what we did like for di- dinner night, <coughs> why the show was like a little bit later. So we need to let the food settle anyway. Um, Made these like uh, jalapeno, jalapeno popper, popper burgers. Things. Which basically, <coughs> you take your burgers... You know, it's kind of like, uh, kind of like uh, if anybody's familiar with the Juicy Lucy. Okay, I'll backtrack once again. If you don't want to know what the Juicy Lucy is, it's basically a burger, but it's like it has cheese inside. So with this, with the jalapeno popper burgers, basically put in a mixture of like cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and jalapenos, and you put it inside. That was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and then we kind of t- we topped off with like sharp white cheddar. So. Mm-hmm. And then we had cheese fries. And we had cheese fries. So, yeah, obviously, big cheating on the carbs. I had all the carbs tonight, apparently. <laughs> Which is why we're having a fucking salad for dinner tomorrow night. See, yeah. cheat days are okay. It's going to be really low carb tomorrow. Yeah. But, yeah, today, I mean, today was an off day. I was enjoying it, so fuck it. It's a cheat day. But, yeah. See, we do stuff like like one of these days. One of these days, we should do one of these as a mukbang, though. So. And then, like I said, I don't want to do that because 
Oh, excuse me. Because while I don't really read any of the comments that we get here... Well, I mean, on here, you're, you're not... Okay, on here, pretty much for the most part, you're not going to get... There's not going to be any negative comments. No, I'm not saying... But, keep in mind, you also... post everything on fucking YouTube. Yeah, I do. I post these everything on public. Like, you know how I am. Like, yeah. I, I appreciate your need for, you know, a little bit more social interaction than I need, but I definitely don't want to be thrust into something where I'm going to be, you know... Like, even if I don't read the comments, I don't want to hear from you right. the shitty comments that people are leaving on shit. Right, right. And really, honestly, ever since it's... I, I will be... I will say a thing on, on all the... Well, all the 15 episodes I got up on YouTube mm -hmm. and then all the episodes we've done on here. Yeah. haven't actually gotten any negative comments. Oh, well, that's good. Which is good. Well, yeah, it is cool. Actually, it was just... A little surprise is I've actually got more negative, stupid comments on reacting videos than I have our actual our actual videos where we're actually. Oh yeah, is talking. fuck with the clown still bothering you? Fuck with the clown. <laughs> the guy who was in the fucking the some kind of stitches the clown or some shit. Uh, I don't. Oh, know. the uh, that fucking. Oh, asshole that fucking. What's that fucking? Claimed to be a comedian but couldn't pull any other <laughs> joke out of his ass. Was like, <laughs> you're fat. Oh yeah, what what. Oh, that what was that? It was that stupid fucking sci-fi juggalo movie I did a fucking reaction to. Yeah, well, we didn't even do a reaction to the movie. We well, no, it was a, a trailer, trailer for it. Yeah, and he got real oh, fucking bent out of shape. Joy Killjoy. Killjoy. Killjoy, the dancing clown or some bullshit. Killjoy, the the ass lancing clown. The, uh, Killjoy, the something. I don't fucking know. Butthole clown. I don't fucking know. But. <laughs> He blew balloon, made balloon animals out of his anus. Fucking I don't know. Fifi, the killer yeah, Fifi LaRue. Oh, yeah. Well, that's about the same. Oh, yeah. It's about the same diff. It is exactly the same thing. So. <laughs> but no. Honestly, Killjoy is a little bit more talented and, like, there's more depth yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Than some fat guy but, sucking Gene Simmons' dick for the last 30 years. But, but, <laughs> a detriment to rock, both of you are. Yes. Away with you! Away, no. away with you, fucks! <laughs> away with this fuckery! But no, it was uh, Please. <laughs> But no, it was like it was this movie. It was it was terrible. It was made by Full Moon Pictures, same guys who did uh, the Puppet Master and all that. You know, good movies. Well, I good wouldn't call Puppet Master okay. good movies. Was, oh come on! I mean, no. Well, it's the same way. I feel like Puppet Master. None of the Puppet Master films were good movies. Neither was The Pest. Neither was Super Mario Brothers, but I love both of those films. So, it, Spawn, the Spawn movie, uh huh. Abs I honestly don't think it would have gone over as well if John Leguizamo hadn't played the fucking clown. Yeah, it probably wouldn't have. And I'm sorry, fucking Mark, what, what, Charlie Sheen's dad as Jason Wynn. Oh, uh. uh no. Yeah. Hey, weak. Yeah, that, that was weak. Shit's weak. But, uh. Yeah, anyway, yeah, the, but, like, this guy commented, I guess he, he was in the movie for, like, five minutes, I guess. He had, like, a five-second line or But something. this guy was, like, this guy was in L.A., he was, like, a comedian. But yeah, that's the thing that kills me. This 380-pound fucking comedian, and the best joke he can come up with is that, oh, your wife's fat. Really? Because I didn't have a fucking mirror. Such brilliant observation. I'm just like, Much dude, wow. if you're a fucking comedian... Oh boy! <laughs> right. Backtracking here. Okay. All right. Chloe said, "Still here? Yay! We didn't scare her away yet. Woohoo!" Give it time. Give it time. Yeah, I get it. And he said, "Today was your carb day." Yes, yes, indeed, it was. Chloe said, "I'm anti. I'm a little bit bad, bad, bad." Okay, no, she didn't say all that. That was me. I was ad libbing. No, Chloe said, "I'm antisocial. I hate people." Huh? Yeah, you know. It's a good way to be. See, already you and the doctor have things in common. Well, the statement's problematic, but I agree with the sentiment. Because <laughs> I honestly have never heard a single person use I hate everybody without being a racist piece of shit. Well, like, yeah, but I mean, I again, genuinely do hate everybody. I have Don't said that too, to though. So. I have said that too. It's I like, I hate people based on human nature, <laughs> not, you know... <laughs> Arbitrary reasons like mm -hmm. mm, your eye color is different. Oh, That's some third right shit. Oh, Jessica Sanchez is watching. She is my old coworker from Harbor Freight. 
Mm-hmm. You never met her, obviously. You I never met anybody from Harbor Freight. Anybody from Harbor Freight with good fucking reason. But there was a, she, she was one of the handful of people from Harbor Freight that were good people. Well, I, I don't not believe you. I just don't know. Who handful she, though, you know, handful. not you know, not not every, And I she actually. I don't think you mean handful to be honest. <laughs> Well, actually, it was, it was probably at that point when I left, there was a handful, because that's all we had there was a handful of all people. All we had was a handful <laughs> Because of most people either got got fired or they quit. Most of them quit. <laughs> but anyway. Can you? Hi, hi, Jessica. Hope you're doing good. Mr. Kiddo. And Chloe says, the Black Clown movie? No, wait. What's the Black Clown movie? Because uh-huh. I was talking about the the Killjoy, I couldn't remember the name for the Killjoy movie. Oh. Uh, what Black Clown movie? I don't know. Now I'm curious. What movie is that? I almost said Homie the Clown, but Homie the Clown didn't have a fucking movie, did he? I hope not, dear God. That no, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want a ninety-minute cinema misadventure. Oh, we don't play that. No. Oh that. God. Yeah, if there was, and it, it obviously didn't do well because I don't remember it. But yeah, if if you find out the name, let me know because I'm curious now. But now this is. Hey, Dan, what's up, brother? Why are you shouting? I don't know, because I'm thinking if I yell, maybe he'll hit me over there or something. I don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody <laughs> cares. Yeah. But yeah, between that one and... What's that other... The, the, the other fucking video? Oh yeah, the one where I was doing like... the, the About the, the fucking sex robot. And I always make jokes about, I always make jokes about the robot apocalypse. Well, okay. half joke. Half joke. Half joke. Half yeah. joke, because... Right. <laughs> I'm more worried about the robot apocalypse than I am the zombie apocalypse, because we got robot dogs, we got... Actually, if we moved to a remote area, we would save trouble on both of those. Oh? Yeah. Because zombies and both artificial intelligence are going to be in the thick of com- like communities, yeah. where the most population is. We get a farm and shit in the middle of fucking nowhere, we'll be pretty safe. What if was like in the future have like robot band- bandits come through there though, you know? <sighs> robot bandits with like zombies on leashes. Well, I and- guess we'd be some dead <laughs> motherfuckers then, won't we? I guess we'll Zombies with fucked. fucking freaking laser beams on their head. I don't know. I don't want to do this with you anymore. <laughs> it's too late. You're already doing it. You're here. Uh, Chloe said, Killjoy was a black clown. No, I know he was like a demon clown. You know, he just looked like a demonic juggalo, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, but no, I don't think it was necessarily, he, he wasn't black. So, but. I don't know what the, he was terrible. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> that, that, from that, the, if the preview was anything to go out, or, or go on about the movie, that movie was probably 90 minutes of pure clown shit. <laughs> the sad part is there's like seven of them. <laughs> Any case, the Zompinator. Zombinator. Yes. Fuck sake. See, it comes back to those zombies with freaking laser beams on their head. I'm glad I'll be dead before any of this is <laughs> an issue. You hope you are. No, I'm gonna be. <laughs> the first time I go into a fucking post office to mail out a package and some fucking Terminator looking motherfucker asked me for like exact change because their machine's down. I'm fleeing. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck you mean your machine's down? Wait. You are the machine. <laughs> Wait, why is it? Why is it going to be having for exact change? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just... Excuse me, do you have some exact change, please? I don't have change for a five. And I'm like, and why the fuck not? You're the Zarakana right. have change. I don't know. That was. The I'm sorry. That was bad. Hey, it's my asshole cat. Hey, fucker. Here. He's so fast. Here's the other the other star of the show. <laughs> He's like, whatever. Hi, baby. <laughs> uh, but... Fuck. Zombinator. Zombinator, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Actually, that, that kind of reminds me. You remember, uh... I don't know if anybody else will watch it. Who well, remembers? I got... I know Adrian will remember this movie and probably a couple other people, but the, um... Return of the Living Dead 3. Oh, my God. We remember... Which is like the first and the third one was the best of the series. I re- I liked what they did you with them. You liked the third one because the cute redhead that too shoving metal through her face. It was like your your psycho fantasy from Bar Sinister. 
Okay, but that's besides the point. <laughs> it's, it's weird. I've seen girls that look like that. Every bit is dead looking, too. Like, girl, uh, you need to slow down. <laughs> You've been drinking <laughs> since noon. <laughs> Bring it back. Have a glass of water. Or like, hey, as I'm, hey, as I'm a girl, don't eat my brain. <laughs> but, uh, but no, it's, it's like it's like there was a thing they had like these. They had like they were trying to do like turn zombies into like these biological, biological weapons. weapons. And, they had, and there was one she had like this one outfit. They were like this like sort of exoskeleton things. So that's what kind of reminded me. It's a zombie nade. I was trying to think about that. Outfit. No, not her. No, the other one. Not had the, the river man. No, nah, it was on the outfit. Remember? The one doctor working on him, he had like a sort of like a like like sort of like that metal shit on oh, him. Oh, they were replacing body parts with like animatronic yeah. type. Yeah. Sh- yeah, 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 some yeah, shit like that. Yeah, some such bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, me personally, that doesn't scare me. You know what scares me? The bitch that looks like she just crawled out of a sewer with a thousand screws and nails oh, stuck out of her. Face. By all means, I'm like, I am both frightened and aroused. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Jefferson. Oops, forgot about about this. Well, it's okay. You're... It's okay, I forget about it until like half an hour before he's like, "Hey, we got." I'm like, "Fuck, really?" Just to just just to fill you in on what you missed. You missed us talking about racism and burgers. And now we're talking about cyborg zombies. So, you know, usual show. <laughs> but yeah, I saw that like. Like Adrian, which 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 of your which of the Return of the Living Dead movies did you like? I'm sure you're definitely gonna. Pre- his, his answer is probably gonna be the first one and the oh, third Linnea one too. Because yeah, Linnea Quigley. Oh. And I'm, for me, it's weird, like because I also loved her in Night of the Demons, and for me, it's not just because I think she's physically attractive because she's gorgeous. Oh. But like, she is pure fucking camp. She is a beautiful woman that has no problem getting fuck ugly for film. And I like that because it means she has a sense of humor. But Like, when she was in Night of the Demons, everybody who's seen the original Night of the Demons mm-hmm. remembers that cute little white girl ass with those pink panties and her goth friend, me, mm. <laughs> running out of the store with all this... I shit you not, I had a friend like that. <laughs> cute as pie, distract people while I steal shit for the party. <laughs> but... You know, everybody remembers Linnea Quigley. And her butt. But you also (laughs) notice she put on some fucked up demon makeup for that. And then later in the remake, the reboot rather, of Night of of the Demons starring Edward Furlong. (sighs) They they paid him in Coke and Sandwiches. Um, She was basically doing the same thing again, poking fun at a previous character. She's just funny and campy and weird and I, I like she, that and, and, and years later she's still hot okay here I was giving her props I'm sorry not her to a sex object but you know <laughs> I'm sorry but anyway that's one thing I will give you as much as you are for feminism and things like that you never ever once say I don't I'm a good feminist I never think about women mm. sexually like you're not. You're not a. Fe- you're not no. using your feminism to get I, women. I think about a lot of people sexually. Okay, <laughs> you know. I was like, that's that's why I, I can't technically can't. Re- I don't think I can call myself a feminist because I don't. Yeah. See, I don't think you call yourself a feminist because you don't like. I think it's a pretty common mistake. I think everybody sexually objectifies one person or another or several in some people's cases. It's not like I'm sending. I dick know books. I have. I've absolutely looked at someone and went, that is a nice piece of dick. Like, I've said that. I've been like, I think I've said that a couple times, too. I'm like, I don't even want to know your name. I don't want you to meet my mom, but you look like a good fucking time. I think everybody has done that at some point in time. Because we're all human. We all make not the best decisions sometimes, you know. And sometimes when you're attracted to somebody, you turn into a dumb shit. And that, yeah. that, that's not like... An okay for rape. No. Being attracted to somebody doesn't make you rape them. No, no, no. But you no. can absolutely do stupid shit because you're attracted to somebody. You like, you know, it, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, the common thing, you check it out, somebody's like, oh, and then you walk into a light pole. I've mm-hmm. done that. Exactly. I have done that. But no, I'm just saying, it's like, I don't think calling yourself a feminist means you have to completely remove sexuality out of it because 
you are who you are sexually. That's your sexuality. You can't just right. not. You can't decide to become asexual for the sake of what other people would call feminism. You believe women should be treated as fucking equals, even though you admit to making mistakes and how sometimes you mentally perceive a woman you're attracted to. See, the thing is, you're at least aware that you do that. You're not like, well, I'm a feminist because blah, 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 show me your tits. (laughs) You know, you're not using your feminism as a way to get what you want from people. And I don't send unsolicited dick pics. I mean, if, if you request one, yeah, okay, fine. But, you but know. that's how it should yeah, be. Yeah, exactly. If you're sending nudes to somebody, it should be upon their request. Let's see, backtrack here. And as predicted, yeah, AD and Kane agreed to that. Yep, I'm surprised they didn't go with another sequel based on part three, right? They didn't either. They, they didn't. They completely skipped it. <sighs> they did like a, the, the, like one of them, they did like a wannabe Resident Evil thing. With well, it. I think what it may have been was that it was, um,. Basically, all the materials had been wiped out in that fire. Mm-hmm. So maybe they decided that that was how they were going to end it. Mm-hmm. Like, all everything got wiped out in the fire. So, yeah. But if you backtrack to the first one, it tells you fire don't do shit, but spread it. Yeah. So I feel like they should have, yeah, they should have gone yeah. with that. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, and close it. Kyojo is Argentinian. My bad. Okay. okay. Either way, it was terrible. Either, yes, either way, it was a terrible movie. Our yeah. Son sleeping on the floor. It's so cute. Yeah, Susie actually watched the movie. Unfortunately. They were bored I one night. When, when, when they're sleepless nights, they decided, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to watch the movie. That's what I told my doctor when I discussed my sleep problems. I said, you have to give me something to sleep. I'm watching Killjoy movies. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. What has my life become? Please And help. then the doctor me said, here, I, I, I got some fucking trazodone. Here, take that shit. I'm sorry. Oh, God. You poor thing. <laughs> I'm hoping, because I see her again Wednesday, I'm hoping she'll give me, like, Ambien or something. Because I can handle yeah. being drowsy throughout the day if I sleep at night. Presently, the trazodone does not help me sleep at night for longer or deeper. I, it's still the standard one to three hours I usually get, but then I can't do a fucking thing the next day. Like, yeah. and that's the thing. I'll wake up, like, say we go to bed at midnight. I wake back up at three. Then I'm up for hours, and then for some reason it seems like a delayed reaction. Like it hits me around ten, eleven o'clock in the morning, and I just I fucking fall out. I can't do shit. So I don't know what the fuck. Because I was on Trazodone years and years and years ago, but it, I, it never did this. So, yeah. but I was also taking it with a few other things. So God fucking yeah. knows. <laughs> oh hi, fatty. Oh, got got a snuggle cat over here. Oh, it's a snuggle chicken. <laughs> Close says I own it, laughing my ass off. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with loving really bad cinema. Absolutely. Like I said, yeah. I enjoy the pest. I don't think you can yes. get a whole lot worse than that. The pest. The pest. John Leguizamo was fucking cute back in the day. What can I say? What that? I'm not saying the movie was good, but... <laughs> the movie ha- was terrible. How- however, you enjoy his stand-up. Yeah. His stand-up is basically... The pest is just a concentrated version of his stand-up, I so I really don't know... Maybe because there's not as many personal stories, because his personal stories are fucking hilarious. But... Yeah, that's why I was like, so wait, you like John Leguizamo's stand-up, but you don't like the movie The Pest, which is basically just John Leguizamo's stand-up compacted into one movie. <laughs> Fucking live-action cartoon. That's what that <laughs> dude is. Basically. But yeah, I actually I actually mentioning Kill, Kill, Killjoy, I'm going to say Killjo. <laughs> Killjoy, and then we were talking about the, the cyborg zombies earlier and everything. Oh, geez, yeah. that, rem- that reminds me. Um, I don't know if you, I'm, and you probably remember, you probably tried to forget, actually. Probably. A few years ago, uh, we rented this movie. It was called Dead Clown. Oh. And basically... I blocked it out. <laughs> it was basically zombie clowns. Basically, well, I guess the premise of the story was... Oh, wait, is that the one that fucked me up because of the way it was shot? And I was like, mm-hmm. no! Yeah. The premise of it was... Uh, run from clowns. <laughs> Just fucking run. 
<laughs> but, but, but the whole plot was there was like, like long ago there was like a train full of uh, clowns going to a circus or some a shit. Triple X train of clowns. Triple X train. <laughs> that, that type of a train. It was like all, like all kinds of like squeaky noises. and. Oh, how many of you can fit into my car? <laughs> you know, cream pies flying everywhere. Oh, 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 I just took that up. <laughs> oh, <I> just... <laughs> oh, no, we don't need concerned goats right now. <laughs> yeah, we, I just took that place. Anyway. Honey. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> but anyway, this clown full of trains. <laughs> it's train full of clowns. Sorry. See, it's your fault. Clown full... Whoa, a clown full of trains? What kind of fucking... <laughs> What kind of white people shit are you talking about right now? I'm talking about turn that fan on, please. This is getting hot in here. I can't reach it. I have a round body and little arms. <laughs> well, I got stuff between my legs here. Oh wait, the the phone. I'm getting it. But no, but the premise Ow. the premise was this train drove off these tracks or something and it ended up falling into a lake and they all died or some bullshit. That train, murder train of coming blues. <laughs> murder train of coming blues, but with clowns. Oh, that's terrible. That was that was a sequel to that. Life is like a clown murder train. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's gonna. <laughs> not playing Coachella. <laughs> clown murder. Hey, that's gonna be the name of my next album. Clown murder train. <laughs> you would never name one of your albums something that cool. <laughs> it's always black devil something. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Ass. You said shut up because you know I'm right. <laughs> but anyway, you know, basically the clown, <laughs> the clowns would come back to kill people for to, to not because they didn't remember some some such bullshit. The actual plot of the movie was terrible. See, I don't I, think they were really zombies. I think they were just protesting the fact that they didn't get paid for working on Killjoy. That was before Killjoy, actually. Fuck you. How about that? <laughs> Eat my ass. Yeah, this was like eight years ago, baby. Mom was like eight years ago. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, um, so they were good. I mean, the plot was terrible. The acting was non-existent. However, the way it was shot, it didn't need good acting. It scared the sh. I clowns don't fucking scare me. In fact, my favorite horror movies involve fucking clowns. It's hey, Amazon. Fucking It, hmm? Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Those are two of my favorite fucking, not horror oh, movies. Oh, you gotta love Killer Clowns from Outer Space, yeah. In general. So clowns aren't scary to me. However, the way this was shot, and then after the fact, with all this bullshit, with all these clowns fucking just popping up, that shit's scary because, number one, <clears throat> fucking zombie clowns. That's... That's just a whole other level of what the fuck to me. Because yeah. zombie, zombies in, in general, like, if you allow yourself to think about it, z the zombie thing could happen in multiple ways. The biggest one is parasites and viruses are the biggest possibilities for us in regards to um, zombies being a reality. Like, you see that kind of shit, like, parasitic insects do that all the time in the rainforest and in other places, too. Yeah. So, I think it's the idea of the loss of control. You know, like, a person is no longer a person. They, are no lo they no longer have operation of their own faculties. They're just fucking being operated by some kind of either internal or external force right. that can't be explained or whatever. But then you add clowns to the shit. So you have that, that dead look and rotting flesh with clown makeup. That is horrifying imagery. <laughs> The yeah. fuck? And, and especially, and well, like I said, the way they filmed it, I mean, while everything else was terrible, <laughs> the, the the filmography part, Fuck the aspect of it, the atmosphere, that was good. That, that offered, like, creepiness, creepy-ass vibe. It made a very... The timing was everything. Yeah. Because it, like, jump scares, like, because to me, jump scares are such a common thing in horror movies that I kind of feel like I can predict them. When they're going to happen. Yeah. However, I th jump scares are, like I said, there's usually something leading up to them and you know when to expect one. But these didn't have jump scares. They had slow transition 
into scare. So it wasn't like, yeah. okay, some shit's happening, I know to prepare myself for something. It's just this slow crawl of terror. And you're like, when's it gonna happen? <laughs> so a jump scare is more like a quicksand sink scare, sort of. Basically. Yeah. It's just like one horrible thing after another. Backtracking comments now. Oh, did I, did I, did I, I, I called uh, that, that what, Snuggle Chicken? Uh-huh. Yeah, Mom says, I want to be your Snuggle Chicken. Oh, Aww. that's sweet. Aww. Aww. Snuggle Chicken, Molly. <laughs> oh, anyway. I, well, yeah. yeah. Ada said, I got to murder a burger. I'll try to keep this on headphones. Tra- Trazodone gave me constant three-hour morning boner, for real. Adian. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Trazodone gave him a boner. Trazodone doesn't give me a boner. Well, he's, at least he can save money. It gives on... me dry mouth and like an insatiable craving for sandwiches. So basically he can save money on Viagra and get some sleep, too. I mean, I guess. So it works out. And Emma says, oh, hi. I didn't know this was happening. I sent you the invite, madame. But yeah. But now you know, so... You're here, so... Hi! You talk nice to my friend Emma. I am. <laughs> I talk real nice. Okay, stop it. Before I hurt you. <clears throat> so, and, 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 so Emma walks in, so obviously Emma, Emma came in on the whole zombie clown thing. Yeah. Yeah, okay, for it, backtrack, Emma. Things we covered. We were talking about racism in the LGBTQ community. Uh, we talked about the burgers that we made for them tonight, and we've been talking about zombies and cyborgs and other bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> and we said, behave. No. Oh, I am going to behave. Oh. <laughs> you can't make me. <laughs> Why are you doing shit? But yeah, I enjoy. I, I mean, I enjoy good movies. I mean, I enjoy. Like I, I, I do like bad horror movies. Oh, yeah. You know, I do still like some bad zombie movies, and some are kind of hard to watch. I think all of them yeah. are kind of hard to watch because when you say, "Oh, I like bad zombie movies," they're not like just bad zombie movies. They're it's a whole nother level of I don't want to fucking be here. Did I ever have you watched the video dead with me? Yes. No, I did, so... That, yeah, my, no, that. my reaction, yes! <laughs> should tell you. For people who don't know, uh, The Video Dead is, like, I think awful. in 86 or 87. It was made made when you were born. It was awful. It was. It was basically 9-11 Dead, except The Dead was coming out of an old cursed TV. And I remember I liked it when I was a kid, and I watched it as an adult. It's so horrible, but I still love it. However, you shush me. I shush you old when I shush you. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sure. But, but um, <laughs> fucking bite me. No. Can't <laughs> make me. But um, one, well, I think one of the worst zombie movies I've ever saw was this thing called Dead and Deader. Dean Cain was in it. Oh God. It <laughs> My was. reaction should have told you. Yeah, that really. see, that's that's the one movie we can definitely agree on how horrible it was. It was so horrible. Oh my god! I mean, and, and it was Dean Cain, so you automatically it's going to be bad because Dean Cain in it. Uh-huh. But there was so oh, many Superman me. references and, and everything. He was like super zombie. And then like. One, you know what I don't like about the zombie trope? Like, I hate it when people change up the storyline to be like, oh, well, if they eat, if, you know, from the time that they're bitten, if they eat a certain amount of, like, raw human flesh, they'll be fine and they can somehow keep the zombieism at bay. I'm like, that's not how that works. Yeah, that's not, that, you're thinking of vampirism. That's vampirism. That's not even vampirism. Actually, well. Because it doesn't keep vampires from being fucking vampires when they drink no. blood. They drink blood so they don't die because yeah. they are vampires. <laughs> Zombies are already dead. What the fuck do they need to eat for? 
Oh, like, you've already been bitten. How the fuck is cannibalism going to keep you from becoming a zombie? If anything, I think that would speed up the process. I'm going to eat this one guy, and I'm going to stop right there. No. Like, just this I'm, one guy. Well, I'm just going to eat saying. only him. Well, that's what I'm saying. Dean Cain had to continue eating people throughout the whole thing. Even they tried to make him, like, somewhat reasonable. as like They tried to not make him a zombie. They tried to make him, like, a fully functioning character that just needed a little eat a little, few people here and there. Yeah. My question is, what's the quota? Like, how many people are three meals a day? You're supposed to eat three fucking people a day? Or is it like once a year you eat a whole person <laughs> and then you're good to go? Like, I... What's your daily, allo- what's your daily allowance of human flesh? I... You know? Like, how many car... Is that a low-carb diet? It can't be a... Are humans low-carb? Wouldn't it be? Jesus. Why are... <laughs> I'm just saying, I have a lot... I, mean, I fat, too, though, have though. a lot of questions about this <laughs> particular thing. I would really like an explanation of how resorting to cannibal... I mean, they've even proven that resorting to cannibalism, like when you're starving, is only going to keep you going for so long because their human flesh apparently contains none of the shit we need because we eat McDonald's and we smoke and we drink, so... Our bodies are fucking poisoned. At the basically, point. humans are gar- literally garbage. We are. We so, are literally so garbage. Basically, you're, you're getting some calories when you eat human flesh, but you're not getting any nutrients. So that's like, you're still starving, essentially. So I'm trying to figure out, Mr. Dean Kane, sir, <laughs> how the fuck eating people is supposed to keep your being a zombie at bay. It, like I said, I have a lot of questions. I want to know the science behind this fucking theory that if you resort if that's the case I'll just start eating people now that way I'll be immortal <laughs> I guess is that how this works because it doesn't sound very logical to me either but I'm just throwing I'd like an explanation is all I'm saying I have questions well it's not like he's done anything ever since so it's not like you couldn't ask him you just find the best buy that he's working at oh <laughs> girl anyway oh honey back skeleton Back Skellington? Back. <laughs> Back Skellington. <laughs> Emma says, I have a lovely clown painting by Red Skelton that my grandparents loved. Aww. Oh, Aww. yeah, I think I've seen that one. It's my creepy guardian. That's creepy. Cannibalism. He's all Emma, by the way. Okay. <laughs> We're closest to pigs, so I think we'd taste like bacon. Mmm, human bacon. Mmm. Uh. I have a. I would think I'd have a hard time slaughtering a pig than I would a human. Let's be real. So, <laughs> pigs are cute at least. They call us long pig. No, sometimes. That's that's a thing. Yeah, it is a thing. That's actually. a thing. <laughs> it is a thing. It's Not a scary a, thing. But a thing nonetheless. It's something. <laughs> but oh, um, it's clown paint. That reminds me. Does anybody know about the uh, like? There's like a one of like John Wayne Gacy's paintings because. He, he did some clown paintings while he was in jail. Actually, I believe all those are prints. I know what you're talking about, but I believe they're they're actually not real paintings. They're just prints of his paintings, but people are still kind of yeah. Supposedly, as like, you fucking should be. Well, one, one, one of them is fucking cursed, basically. Mm-hmm. I mean, why would it not be? Is the better question. Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of John Wayne Gacy. Some of you who I had on my friends list, <laughs> or who, who read it when I tagged Juan in it, uh, probably already know this or have, saw me post about it, but um, I've always had a real deep-seated like distrust and dislike for my youngest sister's current boyfriend. Um, in the beginning of the re- re- their relationship, even after she broke up with him numerous times and got back together with him, he's just so fucking controlling. At one point in time, she and I had had a conversation about if I can't have kids, would she be a, you know, a surrogate for me? And he lost his shit and told her that she couldn't do anything like that without his say-so. And never mind that I would not be allowing any of my sisters to carry, uh, certainly not Danielle and Miranda, to (laughs) to carry, you know... A pregnancy for me because they don't take care of themselves and one of them smokes so definitely don't want that but basically I've never fucking liked this kid I've never liked him even when he kind of pulled his head out of his ass and stopped being so controlling there's just something I didn't fucking like about him you know other than the fact that he's 
not a good provider. He's not a like he he wants a really traditional household, but he also wants my sister to pay half the rent, which I get really shitty about that. I don't like dudes who want a tradition quote unquote traditional man and woman and children household, but they don't want to be they don't want to support families. Which I mean, let it's one thing for couples to decide together we both need to work for X, Y, and Z. That's fine. Right. But for a man to be like, no, my wife has to take care of the children, cook, clean, look good for me, and put out, but she better pay half the bills. That seems like an awful lot of fucking work while your ass just sits in a truck all day. Because that's literally all he does. <laughs> he doesn't drive. He doesn't work out in the extreme heat or anything like that. He wants a traditional household, but he still wants my sister to pay for half the shit, even though he makes about mm, $5 more an hour than she does right now. So, I, I digress. Besides that, there's always been, there's just been something about him that just didn't sit with me. And then, three nights ago, I watched a documentary about John Wayne Gacy, and it clicked why I didn't fucking like this kid. This kid looks like John Wayne Gacy did in his 20s when he was arrested for sexually abusing a boy. He looks like fucking John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> oh, oh, Canada. <laughs> so I figured out why I didn't like this kid. <laughs> he looks, he looks like he has people under his crawl space in his house. <laughs> he couldn't be because it, he he couldn't give drag anybody under the crawl space. He, he's he's very lazy. He won't. He can barely carry a grocery bag. Because he won't, and well, my sister won't go. Hey, get off your ass and help me carry shit. Anyway, Molly says, how dare you insult Best Buy by saying that they would hire Dean Kane?" <laughs> <laughs> Aw. Molly says, I smoke, but I would quit to carry your baby. Aw. Okay, see, I want a baby as long as it's not going to kill anybody. And Molly, my love, you, you, have, en you have enough issues right now. I would never contribute to them. <laughs> but it's sweet, though. Also, you beat Adonia's ass yet? <laughs> beat that ass. I'll, I'll pop popcorn for everybody. <laughs> we'll sit out in the lawn and watch her do it. Fucking run over with your car. Fuck it. Emma said, <coughs> toss the masculinity at its finest. <laughs> and she also said, he's not motivated enough to be a serial killer. No, he's no not. he's not. He's not. <laughs> he's really fucking not. Oh, I remember, oh, like... Shit. I remember the day my sister moved. He carried one small box that had like some bathroom, like some shampoo and some deodorant and stuff like that in it. It wasn't a heavy box, but literally going up and down the stairs once, he is, he was so purple, like, he was breathing so hard that he was like fucking purple in the face. And, um,. This is weird for me because I, as a fat person who also deals with chronic pain and mental health issues, um, exercise is something I struggle with because on days where I'm in too much pain to function, fuck no, I ain't doing anything. And then on days where I'm depressed, you know, maybe the motivation just isn't fucking there. However, I have to wonder why at, I'm going to be 31 in August, why me, a diabetic with chronic pain issues, mental health issues who's also a fat person, who's much shorter than this guy, um, why I... Like, I, I'm wondering what he thinks he's going to offer my sister's son, or my sister, because I don't believe that every fat person owes anybody the right to be healthy. I think, like, you know, do what you want to do, whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you happy. However, this guy's saying he wants to do all this shit for my sister, and he's not I feel like if you're if you are planning on being a father you know I again I don't feel like anybody owes anybody their health if they don't want to take care of whatever or they want to eat a certain way or they don't want to be active that's on them that's their choice and whatever if it makes you happy I definitely support it but that being said I I kind of wonder like what exactly he's thinking he's going to do for my sister. 
Like, she, she's even said things, like, in regards to their sex life, she's complained to me. She said that he's... He's so... He- and, and the thing is, he's not even really that heavy. He and I weigh about the same. He's just a fuck of a lot taller than me. Like, he's like 6'5", maybe? So he and I... He might weigh a little bit more than me, but not by much. We're both really big people. But again, he's so much taller than me and so much younger than me. And the dude, I literally never see him move. And it it just... I don't know. I just worry because... Again, what is he actually thinking he's going to end up providing for my sister and her son if he's, you know, if he's not willing to... See, this is weird, because I don't feel like you can... That if you're big, you can't be active. You know, you're proof of that. You're one of the most active fucking people I know. (laughs) And it's just weird. Like, I worry more about, like, I, as much as I'm not talking to my sister right now, I I know she has concerns, because he does have sleep apnea, he does stop breathing in his sleep. That's a scary issue. Like, that's not something to not be concerned about. And I'm, I have never been that person that's like, no, every doctor's right, you should lose weight, that fixes everything. But in his particular case, his sleep apnea is directly connected to how big he is. And he's... I don't think he should even have to lose weight. I just feel like he's not... Like, I I think I'm inactive as fuck, and I was... This dude makes me look like a fucking factory worker. Let's put it that way. The fact that I don't do shit, and this dude makes me look like a super active person, should tell you the scale I'm trying to paint here. And I'm not sure what, what, what prompted me to say all that. But, um, yeah, I just, so, yeah, that would be, the the long roundabout way is, I don't have an issue with him being a big dude, I have an issue with his lack of motivation to have, like, actually get his shit together, the way he keeps saying he's going to, for my sister and my nephew's sake. And he looks like John Wayne Gacy. And he looks like fucking John Wayne Gacy. (laughs) Dear God. (laughs) Emma says, I mean, he's white and a man and was raised to believe these things he can provide should just magically appear without any real effort on his part. Oh my god, that's not... See, that's what it is. Emma keeps saying things that reminds me of shit that he does that proves he's not... He's not good material for my sister in regards to building a future. You know, this motherfucker bought my sister like a $3,000 ring and... Didn't take it back forever, but didn't make any fucking payments on it. Like, I don't know what the story is with this fucking $3,000 ring now. But, like, they literally didn't save any money, so all their furniture, everything, is on credit. So, if they decide to stop making payments at rent center or wherever the fuck they're getting their shit from, they're... <laughs> then, oh, well, there goes your fucking bed. There goes your couch. Nobody... They don't give a shit if you didn't save money for your bill this week. They'll take their shit back. And he... <clears throat> he basically talked... Like, it was up to my sister to decide I'm not taking away her responsibility for that poor decision at all. But she allowed herself to be talked into a situation that could leave her financially really fucked up if he decides, well, I like spending my money on me and I don't want to fucking pay bills anymore. Which, to be honest, they've only been there I think, what, a month? A few months. No, like two or three. Like a few months, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. So, they ha- we'll see how things go because it's only been a few months, but I really, I do worry that one day he's going to decide being an adult's too fucking hard, I'd rather live with my mom and just leave my sister fucking high and dry paying for 700 and some odd dollars worth of rent a month alone by herself. Excuse me. Which reminds me. Oh shit! Because uh, because because just, just off subject because you mentioned rent, so I was like, like oh yeah, they do rent beds. But how much would it be to rent a bed a month or rent to own a bed? We ain't renting a bed. No, honey. What I just say about them taking their shit back, taking beds back means bed bugs, lice, oh. roaches. Hmm. No, we are. 
we're just gonna go fucking buy a bit. We're gonna have to save the seven hundred dollars to get a good fucking firm mattress because this shit is bananas. <laughs> B a n a n s. I don't even think it's spelled bananas, but hey. You didn't. But you, you I tried. said bananas. You tried. Bananas. But no, Emma's absolutely right. He lacks all the motivation. It would be, you know, because shit, you're just taking care of me and a cat. It still takes a tremendous amount of motivation for you to get your ass out of bed every morning and go to the job. Like, well, the job you don't hate so much, but the people. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, you're not even taking care of a kid. A kid is so much more expensive than me and a cat. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't outgrow my clothes. If anything, I'm undergrowing them, and that's <laughs> occasionally needs to be replaced. The cat, you literally let him drink out of the toilet. He's happy as a clam. <laughs> we give him fresh water, but he'd rather drink out of the toilet. Because so. he's nasty. And the fish tank. Because he's nasty. He is, too. He's also asleep. <laughs> he's your ass up. Hey, hey Bubba. Aww. Big answer. He's like, I don't want to. Little fucker. Let's see. Oh, I read that. He said, yes, please do not rent advance. Rent advance? Or is that like another place, rent advance or something? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah, no, no, no. We wouldn't be renting furniture anyway because of... Oh, a bed. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, we wouldn't be doing that. Fuck a bunch of renting a bed. I was wondering. Well, it's not. They got a lot of places do that out here, but again, I don't give a fuck how many of them do it. I ain't bringing bed bugs, roaches, or lice into my mama house. So. Yeah. Dude, you should beat my ass. I'm 30 and my mom would beat my ass (laughs) if I I brought roaches, lice, and or bed bugs into her house. Well. Understandable. She's gonna throw me the fuck out. She'll keep you because you're the one with the paycheck. She's like, uh, uh-uh, she le- she's leaving. You're oh, paying not, for all. Well, this. not now because I might have some bed bugs on me. You're like, you too. Oh, you got some bed bugs on you. Get out. Oh, no. Lord. <laughs> no. And bed bugs. Once you get them, you pretty much have to burn your house down. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. They they're not easy to get rid of. Especially when you live have in a, a landlord who won't fucking take care of it. We have a building pretty much infested. We live in a par- large apartment building that's pretty much infested with them. That was an issue. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. But yeah, probably looking to get into bed sometime soon. And he said, Big Lots tells me, I know. We, but the last bed we bought at Big Lots was so soft and it fucking murdered my back. Yeah. I, I need to sleep on something that's not quite as hard as a slab of concrete. <laughs> Is there a way we can get a bed from place, but like, 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 like a new, brand new bed, but, the, but then like make, payment pa- make payment plans? I think there is. Like pay as you snore or something like that? I think there is, yeah. Well, we just gotta look around. Um, but that's usually for like bedroom sets. And we can't get a box spring and shit back here. I mean, but we I, like like I said, we'll definitely ask around. Same thing with you know asking around about um like renting to own a scooter. Right. You know, we should also look into that. So we'll we'll call some places and check some shit. Ma out. says Adonia has bed bugs. Adonia is a bed bug. Adonia looks like a fucking bed bug. <laughs> I mean, she's a blood sucking parasite. She looks like actually she looks like a she reminds me of a dung beetle. Anyway, so. <laughs> They follow, like shit. they follow her from her last home. Yeah, they do that. Why do you think we didn't keep any of the bedding? No. Nope. For the most part. Because we, we got rid of bed bugs. And then somehow they ended up back. And I don't know how that happened. I think it was the mattress they took from uh, that old lady's fucking... Oh, yeah. that That is how... To, that's also how we had... Because we had, like, got uh, had things under control with... Cause like there was starting to be be a little bit of like a, like a problem with like insects like with like roaches and stuff. This is an old apartment in Van Nuys. Yeah. And then when the one trans couple when you moved in that we were telling you about, we you had know, the issue under control for the most part. And uh, 
Oh, one of them, he, he got, like, he got, like, a job cleaning out this, um, cleaning out this old lady's garage. And, and so they brought a mattress brought a, back. Brought a mattress, a whole bunch of other stuff back. And then suddenly... In this, yeah, and then suddenly we had roaches and bed bugs and other shit in there, too. Because this shit that was just been... Because apparently this, this old lady that they were cleaning the, uh, the, the, the garage of was a hoarder. Like, they had found, like, four dead cats under the mattress they brought home. Mm -hmm. So, they may have brought home maggots in addition to... Yeah. God knows what and it I, is. And, and I was like, I, I went over the once to kind of help them with it, and it's like, oh my god. Yeah. You could not walk in the garage. This lady has so much shit in there. And it's, and it's been sitting in there for years. Mm -hmm. She had stuff that... Because this old lady, like, apparently... Like, ordered stuff from like off QVC TV, and like QVC shopping. and all that. And she's been do been doing it for like 10 years. She had like over 10 years worth of shit piled up in this garage and Some in her house. still in the packages and having never been yeah, opened. Yeah, she had all this stuff and it's never even opened. And it's been sitting in there with like, I don't know how many stray cats in there and everything. And all God knows what rooms. else is in there. Yeah. So yeah, you're, you're bringing shit out of there. You're bringing home some other stuff too. Mm-hmm. But naturally, they said that they had, you know, they couldn't stay in an apartment with bed bugs because they were allergic to the bed bug saliva. My bitches, you brought funny, them in there. Which is funny because not only did they bring them into the apartment, but um, nobody was complaining about bites. If they see, here's the thing: if they already knew that there were bed bugs in the apartment, don't you think they would have been bitching long before then? Yep. It's like you bring it in here and we bring we address the issue with you and then suddenly it's our fault after you brought in a mattress from some old bitch's house? Okay. Cool. Let's see. But then I said yes on 38th. But oh, then in regards to the big lots. Yeah, we got a big lots like Right down the street, though, like in Greenwood, yeah, yeah, yeah. so we got one like right real close by. But we also have to price the mattresses and see how yeah. fucking firm they are. Molly said, "You never take shit from a hoarder." Damn. Right? See, Molly knows. <laughs> yeah. I've had to clean out houses. I dated a hoarder for a short time. Yeah, you did. And it was an awkward situation because I wanted to help her out, so I went over to help her clean her house. You know what? She was such a bitch. I'd be like, fuck her. She can clean her own goddamn house. Which is basically what you eventually ended up doing. Yeah, but... Wasn't she all, like, butthurt that you had already made the trip out here? And then was like, well, I wanted to see you. And it's like, bitch, you literally ignored me the whole time yeah, I was homeless. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Except for the one time, uh, the one time, because she was cleaning out her dad's, I say, I stayed at her dad's with her. Yeah. When her dad moved. But, yeah. You know, this girl I was dating, and she had the house up in the high desert. Um, oh, it's out by Lancaster, almost. I forgot the Phelan, 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 Phelan. I don't know. I didn't go. Phelan, watermelon. I don't remember. But anyway, it was high, it was desert. It was desert, desert. So, yeah, especially where she lived, that there was like about like four houses with lots of space in between. Somebody had a llama farm. This llama's just fucking walking around in someone's yard. <laughs> yeah. You know, and she lived out there by herself. Uh, this girl was deaf. I mean, but she had like an earpiece so she could kind of hear what she had this earpiece in. And I never knew, I never knew a deaf girl could talk so much. But. <laughs> hey. I didn't, I'm sorry. I know, but still, I'm, that was, that, Okay. Actually, it would be very. I, I would think it would be very common for deaf people to be very talkative because when they find I'm again, I'm not deaf, so no, no. if I'm, you know, wrong, I definitely want people to fucking say so. Right. But I imagine much with blind people, deaf people are always fucking tiptoed around or, you know, treated like oh, I have to g treat you like a completely separate entity that from every fucking buddy else. So I imagine when people are just talking to them. Right. They're probably very excited and happy to have a conversation. So they, I imagine that they probably would talk a lot because right. people do that shit. I guess, because I mean, that, that was the first deaf person I actually knew, let alone actually d was was dating and just yeah. intimate with. But, but yeah, um, 
I went to the house because, and you know, I, I picked her up to her. I went to her house twice. First time when that's why I found out that you know, she was she was she was a hoarder, really bad. <laughs> you know, she hung on to a lot of stuff. Her house was falling apart. She had a lot of dogs. They're all sweet dogs, but nonetheless, she had a lot of dogs. She had and, one room that was nothing but dog shit and garbage. Like, not even joking. Yeah. An entire room dedicated to shit and garbage. Yeah, second time I went there to help her clean it, and it's like, I made a den in it, but it took hours. You know, and... Yeah. And then I, I pretty much spent the night over there. You didn't pretty <laughs> much spend the night. You did spend well, the night. Yeah. Well, okay. But, but yeah... But yeah, that was like, it was like between that and also I did like did some house cleaning here and there over over the years, and occasionally like clean up apartments of hoarders and stuff, and it's like yeah, you don't bring hoarder shit into your house. I've done that, but I was high at the time. But you know, but when you know better, you do better, and yeah. you know better. So you know, look, quick quick story back um. When I lived with my my other ex, uh, Tina, mm-hmm. we were staying at the one hotel in North Hollywood. It's like, you know, we were all high and everything, and we had a neighbor who lived a few doors down, you know, who died and was in his apartment for like a week or so until somebody found him. Which, which honestly, here's the weird thing about this about this hotel. It was like very common. It was quite often. It, people were dying quite often in there, and would be in there for like ever a, a, a week, a week or two before. It's like it's like the only way people found out these people were in there and they were dead was the smell, you know, basically. So this was a regular common thing. It's like you know, you get a room there, you never know if you've been in a room where somebody was dead for a while. That this took a dark turn. It did, but there, the I mean. Okay, so so the, the, at the time, the girl I was seeing had an ex who she was still seeing, which was weird. It was like a weird situation, but we were all getting high, so whatever at the time. Um, the uh, they knew the guy, and the, the guy that died, you, you know, he he died, and um, the part was wild. So they, the, but there was like people that the guy that used to live there knew that would sneak in there to sleep still, even though it still smelled like he was still in there. So that smell was still there. And we didn't have a refrigerator at the time in there, so uh, my ex's ex, whatever, he decided, hey, you know, no one's using this refrigerator anymore. Let's bring it. Let's bring it over there. So we had this dead man's refrigerator in there. Okay, this was darker even than you saying. <sighs> well, people just die here all the time. That's even darker yeah. than fucking... <laughs> And it's like, I remember, it's like, they were like, I'm like... This is a hell of a drug. And I'm like, even high, I'm like, uh... Really? (laughs) It still smells like him. You have a a fucking refrigerator that still smells like a corpse in here. Like, oh, just clean, it'll be fine. Okay, I don't know what... Okay. No, I would just, just... You're I don't know why we're talking about it. It just reminded me of it, but still. Anyway. I am very uncomfortable. I need to backtrack on comments. I need ice cream and a nap. Well, we'll have an ice cream soon. You just said we'll have an ice cream soon. That's cute. It is said, what do you think about the cops not getting prison time for shooting the guy in his car in front of his child and girlfriend? I think that's fucking bullshit. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Not at all surprising, though. Yeah. Emma says, I remember her referring to the girl yesterday. Yes, today. yes, that fucking... Molly yeah. said, three doors down, we have a condemned house from a hoarder, and they pulled out animal corpses and all kinds of shit, and the airborne pathogens alone can kill you. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they did that with an apartment. The apartment I used to... It was apartment. This lady that lived in this one apartment, and the same thing. She was a hoarder for years, and it's like it's like when they clean their apartment now, they they pulled out like about like I don't know how many dead cats. 
It's like, how do you not notice there was dead animals in there all the years you lived in there? But yeah, backtracking to what Adisa said. You know, that... I think that, that that was fucking bullshit. No, it's not surprising, unfortunately. Not at all. That's the sad part about it. But it's, it's like... not at all surprising. For fuck's sake, it was, okay, you have somebody who's killed on live fucking video on Facebook, right? It's like, there, there's a proof of... If, and the cop just shot, just shot the, guy, the guy in front of his girlfriend, in front of his fucking kid. Yeah. But he's not guilty. Yeah. The high, tell me how that works. Like I said, I'm not particularly surprised. And... It's... Oh, oh. And then just, just recently, I don't know if you've heard this or not. Hmm. There was a lady in, um, in, is in Seattle. Okay. Lady called the cops because she, 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 she thought there was an intruder in the house. Mm-hmm. And she, she was there with her kids, you know? Yeah. Live alone there with the kids. Todd show up, and they see her. She has a knife in her hand, but, you know, obviously because she thought there was somebody in the I house. I did see that. So, yeah. the cops gun her down. In front of her kids. Of course. And then, and then, then the sergeant gave a statement, like, Oh, Phil, Phil, uh, like, my condolences to everybody involved, include, include, including the responding officers. I'm like, well, fuck the responding officers! Yeah. It's like, I'm sorry. You choose to be a cop. Yeah. The black people, they've just been shooting for really no good goddamn fucking reason. Um, they didn't get to choose to be black. So, mm-hmm. I really, automatically, don't give a flying fuck about police officers. Don't care if your daddy or your uncle was an upstanding cop. Don't give a shit. So, yep. please keep that shit out of the comments, because right now, this is a fuck all cop zone. Oh, yeah. We are not two people that are my, gonna... uh, and, and, and you should know that by coming no. to my profile anyway. My banner my banner, in case you haven't noticed or not, when you first go to my profile, it says no gods, no masters, all cops are bastards. So obviously you're not gonna get a lot of police sympathy from me. But like I'm just <laughs> uh... And there have been people who've been making statements like, well, some some men and women are just shaken on the line of duty and, you know, they're not mentally prepared. If you're never mentally prepared... Never mentally prepared, then, then why are you a fucking cop? Like, you... If they're... For example, in the military, there are a fuck ton of mental health exams people have to go through and if you're the motherfucker going I can't wait to get a gun and kill people, you're the person they're not gonna let the fucking military granted they let people like that in the military because any smart psychopath knows how to pass those tests Yeah. but the people that are actively going, I'm here to kill people in different parts of the world that's, that's my goal being in the military is I want to kill people in different parts of the world if they're just being blatant about that, they're not going to be allowed into the military service to do that. They're not going to be trusted to hire, handle firearms. Right. Here, when people say, I can't wait to shoot minorities, they give them a badge and a fucking gun. Uh-oh. <laughs> he says, that's crazy. I heard pieces of that. Well, anyway, what time is it? Uh, 10 o'clock. It's ten o'clock, so yeah, we this is where we go ninety minutes, and I got the fifteen uh, percent battery notification. Battery's like, hey, <laughs> hey guys, you might want to wrap it up. I'm getting a little low, guys. Shut the fuck up, guys. Shh. Like, <laughs> shut the fuck up, guys. Plug me in. But yeah, but so yeah. So since the battery's getting low. We're gonna, and it's already been 90 minutes anyway. Yeah, yeah, we'll wrap it up. I, at this point, I'm like saying I'm trying to keep these under two hours. It's easier to keep these under two hours and keep this at one hour. Because we end up saying, oh, God, it's gonna be a short show every single time we say that. And then it's not. So it's at least an hour and a half, but anyway. All right. But thank you, everybody who. Oh, wait, hold on, wait.
Oh, Emma. Emma says, I don't think upstanding cops exist because it's impossible to work in the law without manipulating or breaking the law. Literally impossible. This is true. Very, Very true. true. But yeah, um, everybody's joined in the conversation and hung out. Be it a regular or your either is your first time with us. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, hope you had some fun. Hope everything was uh, hope, hope everything was interesting, informative, or at least amusing at certain certain parts. Uh, we do this every week, and just like our page is a Mister Black and Doctor uh, Doctor Bitchcraft show, and. We'll see you guys next week. I'll put up an event invite soon. And I'll probably be able to talk better next time. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys later. Say bye, doctor. Bye, doctor. <laughs> bye, guys.